afternoon welcome back to the channel steve here uh this is the v twin racing channel <coughs> um it's been a minute since uh our last race at uh fayetteville Oof, what a i don't even know what to say about that <clears throat> um if any of you guys remember racing when your time slip displayed your reaction time as 0.5 zero zero instead of point zero 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 go ahead and hit that like button please consider subscribing um <clears throat> the track was very old dated the surface was chipping and breaking and pieces of it were coming up they were patching that the tree kept quit working you know my hat's off to anybody that's trying to save a drag strip but that whole deal there, they had some poor old guy working the ET shack that couldn't see. And this was during a bracket race, the Harleys versus Metrics, which I'm still in, by the way. I won first round before they rained it out. Um, this old guy is cutting the tickets in half, the ET slips, while there's a whole line of bikes sitting there hot trying to get their tickets and go on. It's not a no time event. Why in the hell are you cutting the tickets in half? Anyway, that's just one of many things that we had, Walter and I seemed to have an issue with. A lot of other guys did too. Um, I certainly hope that Paul considers another venue for that round next year because I was completely disappointed in that place. Their equipment is just run down. And these, somebody needs to come in and invest some money in that place because it's in bad shape. Um, anyway, enough about that. Um, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to run the, uh, the 07 because it rained, obviously. It rained Friday night and they canceled Saturday, so I never even made a pass on it, which is a good thing because it's making a little bit of a tick and I think with solid lifters, I might have one of the valves in the front cylinder just a little too loose. Probably got some lash. So that's probably what that noise is. Um, I'm up and down trying to make up my mind uh, what I want to do. And um, so let's change the backdrop here a little bit. There we go. Take a look at them guys in there. Um, My initial plan was to take this um, 07 bike and sell the bottom end, sell the frame, and build a whole new uh, XLXB engine for uh, non bagger competition next year. Um, I sold my, uh, my uh, Road Glide. Goldie's gone. Sold it. So I would have, yes, I had had the money to build that engine, but I was having a hard time wrapping my head around spending all that money for something that I might just destroy. So I kind of pulled back on that. Uh, and secondly, the Screaming Eagle heads, the twin cam heads that I bought to build that engine, turns out they're not the correct ones. They're, they've got the wrong valve angles or something. I don't know, I can't use them for a 90 inch Sportster engine. So, um, any of y'all out there want a nice set of Screaming Eagle twin cam heads, they look like they got a little port work and polish work and they've got the decompression uh, valves already installed. They're a pretty nice set of heads, but I'm $600 deep in them. I probably will take a little bit of a beating if somebody wants to buy those, but they're, they're available. Um, so, one thing I know for certain is I'm no longer gonna take that bike apart. So, um, I, I haven't even rode it yet. So, um, in this configuration. So I'm gonna go in and uh, fix that tick. I'm gonna get out and try to do some testing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the, uh, the nitrous system on it. Um, I've got a second bottle on the way. Um, Got a second bottle on the way. 
I'm going to um, you know I, it, it's not with a, the engine being as small as it is um, I don't know maybe I can run pro comp outlaw at all Harley world shootout but I think primarily um, might try try my hand at some no prep with that bike as long as they don't change the rules on me it should be legal it's a 68 inch wheelbase now 68 inch wheelbase sportster with nitrous it should hopefully as long as they allow me to use the nitrous I can maybe be competitive I don't, shit, I don't know um, hey Mabel what are you doing um, the OG um, so I've got a 99 bottom end in there uh, in the shed I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do a run out check on the flywheels make sure they're okay if they are I'm gonna tear that bottom end apart I'm gonna clean it and put some new bearings and stuff in it and I'm gonna replace the bottom end in OG because that other one that's in there is the original 97 cases with some old bastard flywheels I got out of a parts lot. I have no idea what year they are. All I know is I really don't know anything about them, but they're not going to be strong enough to take many years of ab abuse, maybe a minute. So far they have. I mean, we've got this whole season and part of last year on it. So um, also, and we'll pull the thunderstorm heads off of that and send them up to uh, Chad at XLXB and just have him put a nice valve job on them, touch them up. I might go just a little bit bigger on the camshafts. Hush! Might put a little bit bigger camshafts in it. I want to be uh, uh, 1150 capable, which the bike will run. You're not helping. The, the, <laughs> the bike will run 1140s low 1140s when it's cool out but when it's hot i struggle to get them same numbers out of it so i want to be holding a little bit so that's i guess it'll continue with et bracket duty and maybe some 1150 at some amra i'm not gonna travel halfway across the country but when the ahdra and the amra amra are somewhat close to me uh I'll probably hit some of those um Another possibility, um, I'm not going to get into any details whatsoever, but I might have the uh, opportunity to purchase um, an established competitive uh, top end. If that, if that actually materializes and I do that, then I will change my plans for the OG, and then it, it will actually, uh, um, I'll transition it into a non-bagger bike but I, I don't know about that deal yet I'm I'm considering it the sellers the potential sellers considering it I, don't, I just don't know it's up in the air but if I do end up buying that top end I'm gonna I'm gonna put it that engine in the OG and just leave this 07 together I've got a lot of hard work and a lot of money in that thing I'm just gonna leave it I was gonna tear it apart and part it out but I'm gonna leave it and we've got so much other stuff going on. Um, you are not helping. Y'all see this mousy broad right here? Look at that. What do you want? What do you want? You're interrupting my video. <laughs> okay. Other stuff going on. Let's start with what's right behind me here. This... <clears throat> We bought this a mm, year and a half ago. This is a 1985 uh, Camaro. Uh, it's a Carolina car. It's rust free. Um, I've already uh, welded in some subframe connectors. This is for Misty. Okay, this is what this was going to be for Misty. <clears throat> um, there's a six point uh, roads that I can add to in there that I've started tacking in. Um, bought an S10 manual steering box for it, so on and so forth. Just started, you know, and it's completely gutted. It's a clean car. <clears throat> but when you, when you do the math and you start pricing everything, you know, 
for just for a damn bracket car. I'd have to screw around and have twenty thousand dollars in this thing. Um, sitting on the trailer over there under the covers. Okay, that is a uh, 2001 5.3 LS out of a Yukon. And I got, also got a power glide two speed transmission over there. And it, this is boring, you guys. I'm sorry, it's car stuff. But um, so what we ended up doing was I bought Misty something else. It already runs. Um, she's already drove it. She's, she has a lot of fun with it. <laughs> but I'm going to show you all real quick. Um, I'm very uncertain about my motorcycling activities. I do know that I've lost a few friends, and that's why I sold my road glider. I just don't want to ride on the street anymore. Uh, this summer's been pretty rough. Like I said, I lost a few friends to accidents. Okay, so, and it's definitely not that Datsun. There you go, there it is. And this tripod, okay. So, we bought this running. Uh, this is a 95, this is the last year that they were uh, putting the 302 engines in these. I verified it on the VIN, it is a true GT. So it's number one, it's already got a really good rear end in it, I guess, so 8.8. <clears throat> you can put better axles to spool and C-clip eliminators in it, but um, this right here is gonna put her on the track having fun. I also bought a new trailer to haul it with. Um, so yeah, that's what I spent some of my, that's what I spent some of my Harley money on. Um, because it's just not right for me to have all the fun and her just to go and help. I wanted her to actually have some fun for herself because she's helped me out like more than I can even say with this stuff. Um, that's why that big old honking thing is here because I wanted her to be comfortable at the races. I would much prefer to just drag my trailer with this old guy right here because she's cheap, she paid for, she's a diesel. That motorhome, my God, man. But she likes it, air conditioning works, keeps her cool and comfy. And so yeah, I got a lot up in the air. Um, one thing I know for sure is this old Camaro here is getting replaced with that Mustang. So that is definitely for sure. Uh, I guess when I get around to it, I'll sell it. But that's when I get back in the mood to deal with anybody on Marketplace again. So, um, so bikes, good news, Walter's uh, soft tail. Transmission's perfect, runs great, um, he's still He's still coming to grips with his uh, 60 foot. So um, based on the numbers that he's running, he's running low eights in the eighth. Uh, it's probably gonna be a low seven second bike once he gets a handle on the 60 foots and learns how to ride it. He really wanted to go with wheelie bars, but I had strongly urged him to not do that because he's missing out on learning some riding fundamentals by riding a no bar bike. So. I guess if he eventually decides he wants to put wheelie bars on it again, so be it. But I really tried to get him not to. So far, I'm winning. <laughs> um, OG, right? If I end up buying uh, an engine package, that's going to be the that's going to be the non-bagger um, bike. Hey, Charlie's alive. Where's he at? What are you doing, Chuck? Charles. <laughs> He's feeling a little bit better. That's good. Um, lost my train of thought. Messing with my dog. Anyways, guys, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video. I just really haven't been real motivated lately. And it's raining quite a bit. 
so I don't get outside and work on anything when it's raining because I don't have a garage. So I'm either in the trailer or in the shed, walking back and forth, carrying tools and whatnot. So I want to say thanks to everybody for watching. Appreciate your support. Um, drop me something in the comments. You guys want to see more racing action? You want to see um, how-to stuff? You uh, just want to listen to me ramble on about random shit, which I do most of the time. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys want? What do you want to see? Because... Uh, this channel is going on two years old now. Um, we have posted over 200 videos. And over the two year span, I have 112,000 views, 314 subscribers. It might change, it might go down. It kind of bounces up and down. Um, it's free to su subscribe, by the way. Uh, let me know what you want to see, you know, um, I'm trying to make this thing successful and I don't seem to be doing a very good job at it. So that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing. Have a good day.